Circle, yeah. It is now Friday morning, and I'm playing okay. Indonesia, which is a game where uh, oh, yeah. we're Even making different Even companies. Four. There's like a okay. spice company there, and rice companies, and then ships all around. You have to ship it to the different cities to get money. And you're trying to get the most money. It's There's a lot of stuff. And then you can merge the companies together, no matter whose they are. So, yeah, it's pretty fun. All right, we just finished playing Tricky Tides, a new trick-taking slash pickup and delivery game, which I've never heard of those two things being combined before. And uh, what did we think, everybody? Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Pretty fun. So yeah, it's interesting. There's this board. Um, you're picking up cubes. You're moving your little ships around and picking up cubes and delivering them. But you're doing that via a trick-taking game. So I, uh, yeah, this one's interesting. We uh, we we figured it was a, it could get a little bit broken when one person ended up with most of the cards of a single suit because then they were able to activate special powers and move first on their turn. Uh, but that's uh, pretty cool. I mean, right, yeah. yeah. Uh, but it was pretty fun. Uh, so, see, is this game available here in the States? Do you know? Like, I hadn't seen this one. I picked it up at Origins. Okay. They were selling it at Origins. Okay. I don't know if it's uh, widely Wide distributed, yet, but... distributed yet, but it should be available very soon, if not. Okay, very cool. So, that was... Tricky Time. All right, it is day three of Dice Tower Con, and I am just hanging out in the main gaming hall right now. I uh, played a couple games earlier, and now we're just kind of kind of look around, and holy cow, it is busy in here. As you can see, the gaming hall, we do have some empty tables, but it's pretty full. I have to say, the, the temperature in here is pretty good. It's just a little bit cool, which is nice. Um, so then you can just put on a sweater if you're cold, but when, when it's, it was a little warm in here yesterday and I'm glad that it's not as warm today. Um, but lots of neat games being played. Let's see, we've got a game of Conan, it looks like, over here. Test athletics casting. What is this? Agents of Smirsh. Very cool. Not so fast. I love a good board game with fun in it. I'm always a fan of the puns. And of course, of course, there, at any given time, there is always an epic game of TI4 going on. Okay, so here's the game. You're gonna have to explain to me what's with the little the levels, the higher parts. Just to give it uh, more height and to keep the ships off the ground, off the planet, so we, we, we put the ground tubes here and then the space ships. Okay, that's pretty cool. I have never played with that, and that is, I like it. That is thematic, right? Like the ships. He said he ordered them online. Very neat. So who's winning so far? This guy over here? Yeah. Hey, there he is. All right, well, have fun, everybody. Thank you. Dinosaur Island going on over here. Definitely one of my favorite worker placement games. What is that? So do you all love this one? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so what about Dualasaur Island, the two-player one? Have you played that? Yeah, Dualasaur is good. Yeah, I like Dualasaur as well. It's it was, so uh, much easier to set up. <laughs> <laughs> it is a lot faster to set up. That honestly, that's a, one of the only reasons that Dinosaur Island doesn't hit the table as often for me is just because it's such a beast to get out, you know? But I love it. It's so fun. We'll have fun, guys. Yep. All right, so what do we got all going over here? Oh, oh is this Architects of the West Kingdom? It is. Hey! Hey. I love this game. It is also very fun. It's awesome. I don't know what it is. Perfect. I mean, that means you're probably going to win, I would I've, say. I've contributed to the guardhouse. That, you know what? Having a lot of people in there, that's always fun. I said all of them there. Nice. Look at you. All right. Have fun, guys. And we've got classics like Puerto Rico happening. Of course. A classic. So good. Harry Potter Hogwarts battle. Yay. Woo. Ginkopolis! Codex! Yeah! Concordia! All, oh no, Lorenzo! Lorenzo. Not Concordia! I saw the box on the table and I got thrown off. Then I actually looked at what you were playing and went, oh, that's not Concordia! Alright, so clearly we have a lot of exciting stuff happening today. Okay, now this one I'm not familiar with immediately. What game is this? Uh, Cleopatra. Yeah. Oh, 
though, I have to admit, uh, based on components alone, I'm interested. Really fun. It looks yeah. great. So here's the box. There we go. Cleopatra. Very cool. Alright, so that's going to be it for me for right now. I'm going to go play some games and we will report back in later. Tonight is the Jack Vassal Memorial Fund auction and the top five list. We are doing our top five annoying gamer types list. I know I tend to be a very positive person and I try and maintain that. I'm kind of excited about having to or getting to complain about stuff tonight. So we'll see how that goes. It's now Friday afternoon and we're doing the escape room. Oh, well, we're waiting for the escape. So we signed up for the escape experience. It's here. Um, I guess everyone gets a lay or something. I, I don't know. But we've heard of people walking around with lays. I guess they did the escape room. So we're waiting for that to start. Hopefully it's fun. I got my lay now. See? I guess it's like Hawaiian themed escape room or something. I'm not really sure. But there's a lot of people here. All right, we are playing Riff Raff game that released in Europe back in 2014-ish. I had never seen this before. This boat is, oh, it's a rocket. Ah, there you go. There you go, that's, see, okay. <laughs> that's pretty well balanced. <laughs> ah. Well, at least I got rid of But I get all this back now. We just played Riff Raff. Uh, it is a dexterity game that has this ship that uh, very precariously perched rocks quite a bit. Um, so this is your game that you brought to the con. Um, I've never seen this one before. It is pretty neat. Uh, where, so how did you get a copy of it? Did you order it directly from the publisher or? Amazon. Amazon, okay, very cool. Uh, I, uh, I might have to be looking for a copy of this because it's real fun. And every, so here, put, let's put a couple pieces on here. Like, so there's a lot of different types of pieces. Everybody has to place them. And uh, if anything falls off, you can try and catch it so you don't have to take it into your supply. But if you are not successful in catching it, then it does go up. See, like, so that one would go into his supply now. And uh, this thing lists heavily <laughs> when you start putting stuff on it. Like, the boat, the boat is a rocket. And I lost. <laughs> Oh, 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 like how? So quick, it was just like, doink, it's right there, boom, done. I can't do that, I have, every time, this little guy, my nemesis, I tried to hang him off of the beams like three times, he wouldn't stay, wouldn't work. Oh well, I love dexterity games anyway, so. We just tried Lord of the Rings Journeys from Middle Earth, which is a game I'd been wanting to play, it's like Mansions of Madness, but Lord of the Rings, and with cards, and we had a lot of fun, so that's cool, we're thinking of buying it because they have it on sale here. Um, and then now I'm gonna go to the pool because I've been to Dice Tower Con like every year at this hotel and have not gone in the pool yet. And it's got a really big pool with a water slide and like a waterfall, it looks really nice. So I'm gonna try going in the pool, that'll be fun. All right, it is still day three of Dice Tower Con <laughs> and we're at the pool! Yay! Check out the pool! Ah. We, uh, we decided to take a break from the games for just a little bit. Yeah. And uh, it was nice. like, really refreshing, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Very nice. Good temperature water. Go on. And it's nice just relaxing there. It's a little busy, lots of kids, which, you know, that's inevitable yeah. at a hotel like this. It's busy, but yeah, really nice. And uh, we gotta go because we're gonna go get ready and uh, do all the stuff that's going on tonight back at the con. <gasps> Yay! Wait, we're back! We forgot to say, I did the water slide. Yeah! It was fun! It was fun! Uh, Ambie decided not to partake for reasons that are, I imagine, obvious to most people that have watched this vlog at this point, right? Like, so, uh, but yeah, it's, uh, it's over there. It is not a large water slide, but it was fun! So, yeah, that's also a thing that happened. So, tonight, uh, we played some Rolling Stock Stars with Dean, who has watched some of our live streams and wanted to play with us, so we played it with him and it was pretty fun. The Rolling Stock Stars is like uh, a new version of Rolling Stock. It hasn't come out yet, but we have like a print and play version, so we were able to play it and it's only like two hours, whereas the original version of Rolling Stock is a lot longer. <laughs> but yeah, that was fun. And then we watched the... I. Uh, 
caught the later half of the top five that Crystal was in, so that was cool. Everyone was wearing Kigurumis. <laughs> well, not everyone. I guess half of the people on the panel and then some people in the audience, which is fun. And now I'm going to go to bed because tomorrow morning is this flea market at 8 a.m. So I want to get enough sleep before that so we can go find some cool games. Today is Saturday morning, the day of the flea market. And here's the line for the flea market right now. The flea market's at 8 a.m., but uh, right now it is 7 a.m. Um, and Toby and I like going to flea market, so there's the line. It goes up to there. Uh, the flea market is in the event room, which is just this room here, and, and we're in line here. So it's not too bad yet, <laughs> but it's probably going to get pretty crowded. It is now a little after 7.40 and the line for the flea market is a lot longer now. So I'm coming back from the library because we just checked out Imperial Settlers and played it, or the Roll and Write Imperial Settlers. So that was, that was fun. Um, but yeah, so see all of these people have, have added to the line since, since seven. <laughs> but it is pretty long now. And I was up there somewhere, I think. I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, so there's like a little over 15 minutes left until it opens. Yes. <laughs> and the front of the line is around that corner. So the flea market was pretty big. The, the room was filled. Um, well, there was like a path all the way around the outside of the room with tables. And so people were going around the outside looking at the tables and they're all set up. And everyone had a lot of games. Uh, we didn't buy anything because we didn't see anything that we really wanted. Uh, and we also probably don't have much room in our luggage for games. And we're also thinking of getting the Lord of the Rings journeys in Middle Earth, which takes a lot of space, so, yeah. But it was cool. We like window shopping. So I forgot to vlog most of today, but I played a lot of games, and it was fun. And then we just had dinner, and it started raining really hard outside. And we were just eating in the hotel, like, by the pool area, which is covered. But then getting out of there back to our room is not covered. So um, luckily, Toby had an umbrella but it's a one-person umbrella, so like, still got kind of wet. But from here to the convention center is covered, so that's good. <laughs> but yeah, it's raining pretty hard and it's not really letting up. Okay, I played a couple more games after dinner and now it's almost time for the, this Game is Broken live show, so I'm going to be watching that. Okay, it is Saturday of Dice Tower Con, and I have not recorded any video today, like at all. And wait, wait, we, aren't you recording something now? Right now, this is it, Emerson. This is, it. This is absolutely so, it. So, Emerson, sure? you need to give me some really good content right now, because for my vlog, yeah, 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 it's going to be like day one, lots of stuff. Day okay. two, lots of stuff. Right. Day three, lots of stuff. Today, cool. it's just Emerson. Oh, well, that's going to be really disappointing for me. <laughs> I think I, they're going to be pretty nothing. excited. Because no, we've got, got so we've got Century and New World. That's that, correct. As I'm, no people are excited about that one a lot. Right, right, you've got right. Metal Gear Solid coming up in the near-ish future. Near -ish future, yes. And you've got some other stuff in development as well, so... Yes, I have You're a, a busy guy. Thank you. I, uh, I, I enjoy your, your games quite a bit, and we just got back from dinner with the Dice Tower folks. I know Jason vlogged a whole bunch of that. Yes, so, a, little, a little too much. I mean, it's Jason. <laughs> it, so. is, it is, it uh, is. So we're heading into the game hall. It is 
yeah. almost midnight on Saturday, yes. and we're gonna go see what's going on in here. So I guess yeah. I can turn you all around. Oh wow, it is almost midnight, and look at this. So many people still playing games. I think this is pretty common. For the last night of the convention, I think yeah. people are like, oh, this is the last hurrah. We need to go play. So yeah. that's what they are definitely doing right now. So yeah, we're actually gonna go join all of these people and play some games. All right, it is the final day of Dice Tower Con, and the game pool is still hopping. We've got lots and lots of people still playing games. We've been packing things up over in the hot games area to some degree, but the rest of the gaming hall is still pretty full. Uh, and I would say this has been a pretty spectacular event. I really, I love this convention every year. This is my third Dice Tower Con. Uh, my voice is a little bit gone right now, but I have had so much fun and I hope everyone else has too. Uh, I haven't played anything yet today. I've been helping uh, pack up stuff and do other things, but hopefully I'll get to play a couple more games before I head to the airport later this afternoon. Uh, but really, I think it's been a great event. I'm gonna scan through some of the games that we're getting played over here. Like we got Architects of the West Kingdom over here. How are y'all liking it so far? Great. Yeah? I love this one. I've only played it once. I've been itching to play it again. We played it. Yeah, we sure did on the <laughs> Dice Tower Cruise. Let's see. We got Roll for the Galaxy. Bunny, Bunny is just us. Bunny Kingdom. The Dice Forge. Space Base. Getting started with Photosynthesis. Some Welcome To going on over here. Lots of exciting stuff happening here at Dice Tower Con 2019. I'm so sorry that I did not vlog more yesterday. I just didn't do a very good job. Hopefully Ambi and or Jason did a lot of vlogging. I know Jason definitely did some because he vlogged with me. So you'll see me in some of his videos from yesterday. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna let you all go. I might do another video later if I do get some games played. But for now, I'm gonna sign out. Today is Sunday morning. It's the last day of the convention. It's really like a half day because I think the library closes. I'm not sure when it closes, but before two. And here's the main hall. It's a lot, um, lot less people than before because a lot of people probably are leaving or left or something. But we're not leaving till tomorrow because the flights were cheaper. So yeah, we've got all game all day today to play games. But not from the library. This one. Hopefully, we find some people to play with too. All right, it is the final day of Dice Tower Con, and we just played Litter Jam. So I love word games. You all know this. Uh, this one is really fun. So Tyler taught it to us here, and we we did not win. It is a cooperative word game. We did pretty well, though. We did we did pretty good. Uh, there will be a point system, so we would have gotten a decent. We did a decent points. number of points. Yeah. Okay, I can take that. Um, it's really neat because, like in games like Hanabi or Pococo, your cards are facing away from you. The letters that are in your hand, you don't get to see, and the other players then spell words using your letter, and you have to try and suss out what your letter is. It's very interesting, and this is coming out at Gen Con, correct? Gen Con, yeah. Limited release at Gen Con, wide release a few weeks after that. So if people want to pick it up at Gen Con, do they need to pre-order, uh, or...? We will have pre-orders available on our website, but then uh, we'll also be just selling copies there. So if you're at Gen Con, you'll be fighting me for a copy of this, <laughs> but I only need one, so it won't be too bad, because I love letter games and my game group does as well. So this is one that I 100% have to add to my collection as soon as possible. So thank you so much, Tyler, yeah, for teaching it. And uh, yeah, that is Letter Jam. Still the final day of Dice Tower Con, and I just found out. I love Dave. Dave is like just, hiding. He's just I hanging out. Hiding. Whatever. No, you're <laughs> fine. Uh, I found out that the Murph brothers had never played Herbaceous before, so I just taught them how to play Herbaceous. Look, it's amazing. It's lovely. It's so, <laughs> so good. good. It's so pretty it. and it's simple. I loved it. Oh, I really liked it a lot. Really like it. Yeah, this is this is one of my favorite games to keep in my quiver because it fits in there nicely. It's not a ton of cards, um, and it's easy to teach, simple to play, but really interesting decisions to be made in the game. And honestly, Beth Sobel's art is just gorgeous. It's so Everything is so pretty. so pretty. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. So I know this one's this one's been out for a few years yeah, now, I, I think. But I imagine it's pretty easy to get a copy of this. 
I highly recommend this. If you like light card games with beautiful artwork, Herbaceous is a great one to check out. Can I buy this from you now? Uh, no. <laughs> it is now Sunday afternoon and people are packing up the truck. <laughs> I'm not allowed to help. You may have played a game on these tables. Oh, yeah. Brought to you by the Dice Tower. These tables. You may see these tables as other famous places as the Dice Tower Retreat and maybe even the Dice Tower Cruise. They are famous work. tables. Oh. Famous. They're hard working, but nice. not as famous as our amazing contributors. <laughs> Bigger than this, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. I don't know if this is all going to fit. <laughs> hey, hey, what are you doing? It's not going to fit. <laughs> this is 100% not going to fit. We have too much stuff that we're bringing back. Actually, this is all Kenny stuff because Kenny brings all this stuff for the flea market and then he never sells it all and we have to bring it all back every year. The same thing happens. Yes. I think there's another car, so. Yeah, we have The car of. Okay, there's plenty of room here, so it fit. There's plenty of space. And I'm waiting for this to not make the vlog. It's going to totally make the vlog. <laughs> oh, I'm sure. Yay! It is now 4.40 p.m., so almost 5 p.m. on the last day of Dice Tower Con, and the gaming hall has finally... Like, it's not empty by any means, but it is much less full. Much less full than it was even earlier today. Most, it seems like most of the attendees have headed home. I got to play a couple more games, um, but... It really, it seems like, oh yeah, look at We, uh, the, the gaming action is winding down. They're gonna be closing down the main gaming hall at six. Although you know people are still gonna be playing games in the lobby and every other area they can find where they're allowed to uh, for the rest of the evening. Because I know a lot of people don't actually leave until Monday. I am flying back to Las Vegas tonight. So this will be my last part of the vlog. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed the video that I showed you and I really hope if you haven't been to Dice Tower Con before that you consider coming in the future. It is a really wonderful event. This was my third year coming and I just love it here. It's so much fun. Everyone is really friendly. You literally, you put up a teacher's wanted sign and within five minutes, inevitably, someone will walk by. Not even somebody who's assigned to teaching games. Just anybody will walk by and say, oh, I can teach you that. Everybody is so wonderful and great and it's just a lot of fun. So come to Dice Tower Con. And if, you, if you're on the west side of the country, come to Dice Tower West. Dice Tower West is in March and it's in Vegas where I live. I help run that event and it is a lot of fun as well. And it has a very similar vibe to this event. So if you're on the west side of the country, consider coming to Dice Tower West. It's a good time. Then you've got the Dice Tower Retreat, the Dice Tower Cruise. Really, there's a Dice Tower event for everybody. So thank you all for watching the vlog. I really appreciated it. And I hope you all, if you were at Dice Tower Con, had a wonderful time. If you weren't here, I hope you enjoyed the coverage. It is now Sunday at around 5.45 p.m. And I'm gonna go to dinner. But here's the main hall. Uh, most of the people are gone now. There's still some people playing games. But we're gonna go to dinner and then uh, that's it for Dice Tower Con for us. So. We're still gonna play some games, but not at the convention anymore. So that was Dice Tower Con. Hope you enjoyed the vlog and thanks for watching. Bye. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching the Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool stuff in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.